Hey everybody, how's it going? Brian here. And really quickly, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iDevice running iOS 4.3.1 with an untethered jailbreak using Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9 that was just released by the iPhone dev team. You can see that it's about almost 11.30 at night, Sunday evening, and about 20 minutes ago the iPhone dev team released both Red Snow and Ponage tool. And both of these tools are able to jailbreak iOS 4.3.1 3.1 on any device untethered except for the iPad 2. That jailbreak is still not available. They're still working on it, so. But this does work for the iPhone 4, the fourth generation iPod Touch, you know, all those usual devices. So, I'm going to put the links down below in the description as well as some more info on Ponage Tool 4.3 and Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9. I'm going to be I'm going to be doing this on Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. And there is sort of an issue where you need to change the Red Snow compatibility mode over to XP mode so that it properly transfers all the files over to your iDevice. So make sure you do that first. It doesn't hurt your device if you forget to do that. You just have to start the process over. Nothing's lost, nothing like that. So just make sure you, that you, again, right click on it, go to properties, go to the compatibility tab, and make sure that the XP compatibility, compatibility mode is set for um, Windows XP. Once you do that, you can go ahead and open up Red Snow. I'm going to move it over to the left side of my screen. And the reason I'm using my video camera to record this is so that I can easily just bring my iPhone 4 into view when necessary instead of, you know, recording my screen using screen capture software and then using my external camera to record what's on my iPhone. It just makes things easier on myself. The process is exactly the same for both Mac users and Windows users, so once again I'll be doing this on Windows. So, to get started you need to open the Red Snow EXE file, and you need to click on Browse, then you need to go look for your um, iOS 4.3.1 IPSW file. Once you do that, it's going to process the firmware. Once it says IPSW successfully identified, you can go ahead and click on Next. It's going to go ahead and do some stuff real quick. You know, it's going to patch the kernel, do some sort of magic. Now, if you're on a 3GS or an older iPod Touch, it's you should be or you should see some options for changing the boot logos. That's still not available for the iPhone 4 yet. So I'm just going to leave Install City checked. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. This screen makes sure, or this screen tells you that you need to have your device turned off but still plugged into your computer. Now here is my iPhone 4. Um, it's running a clean install of iOS 4.3.1. I did put my applications back on here and some of my music and stuff. Um, I did this earlier in the day. I started completely from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the power button. And I'm going to go ahead and get this turned off. So the phone is off and it is plugged into my computer. So what I'm going to do now is click Next on Red Snow. It's telling me to hold the power button for a couple seconds. The second step is to, without releasing the power button, continue to, or hold down the home button for about 10 seconds. Step three is to let go of the power button, but continue to hold on to the home button. This pretty much puts your iDevice into DFU mode. So you can see that on Red Snow, it is exploiting with Lime Rain. It's uploading the first stage. And on Red Snow, it's going to say that it is finished. But on your iPhone, it's going to go ahead and do the jailbreak in verbose mode. And verbose mode basically shows you graphically how the boot process is going. You can see that there's some, um, it's initializing some of the drivers. You can see down here it's doing a file system check. This process could take about two to three minutes or so. And here we go. So right now it's actually, it's doing the actual jailbreak process. You can see that it's <laughs> obviously moving some applications and this might take a while so I'll come back when it's almost finished
Okay, so the process sort of went by um, too quick to where I couldn't bring it back into uh, focus quick enough, but it was doing some more installation of different things, and it once that finished, it's immediately going to reboot your device. So as you can see right now, I'm at the Apple logo. I just heard that it was detected in my computer and it just vibrated so it's booting up. And here we are at my lock screen which is obviously good. And I'm going to wait for, oh, keep getting a bunch of uh, boxcar push notifications so I'm going to wait for this to finish screwing around. Let me go ahead and clear those two apps out of my uh, multitasking dock. And here we have Cydia. And you can see that it opens up just fine. This is pretty much the first step to Cydia that it always does right after you jailbreak. It's going to go ahead and prepare Cydia for different things so that it works properly. And then once that actually finishes, Cydia should close itself and you have to open it up again. And then your device should eventually get into Cydia. Right now it's doing a respring. To go ahead slide to unlock this time I'm gonna open up Cydia one more time I for the most part am a user and here we are so this is iOS 4.3.1 untethered and jailbroken you can see all the way at the bottom I am on an iPhone 4 GSM iOS 4.3.1 and this is Cydia 1.1.1 so you can see that's that it's <clears throat> excuse me it's currently in the process of downloading packages you know the usual stuff when you first jailbreak your device and open up Cydia right now it's reloading data and most likely it will come up with a oh no it did not so it looks like most of the stuff was installed most of it was uh, current so that is nice and then you know you're pretty much done you could go ahead and install your usual stuff and that is how you jailbreak an iPhone 4 running iOS 4.3.1 untethered with the just released Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9. Now quickly I'm just going to go ahead and reboot my phone just to make sure the untethered is working properly and most likely it is. So I'm just going to wait for it to shut down. Taking a little bit to a little bit longer than expected to shut down, but sometimes that happens. So I'm gonna press the power button. Wait for this to boot back up. Arms getting a little bit tired from holding the phone up for about five minutes or so, or however long it's been. See all the, you see all the fingerprints on my phone, but that is to be expected. So I just heard it connect to the computer, it just vibrated, because it's in silent mode. And it should be going to my lock screen, here it is. And everything seems to work, so the untethered exploit is definitely working. And that was just a quick video on how to jailbreak your iDevice running iOS 4.3.1 using the just released um, Redstone 0.9.6 RC9 from the iPhone dev team. So thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions or issues when doing this, you can go ahead and leave them down below in the comments area. But that's about it. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.